Good evening, and welcome to Kids Save's 2020 Miracles Gala. I'm Randy Thompson, co-founder and CEO. Well, this wasn't the gala we'd planned. As we all learned over the last few months, plans change. So we've adapted, and tonight we're celebrating our first ever virtual Miracles Gala with all of you. Thanks for joining us. Over the last 21 years, KidSafe has worked to connect older children who are growing up in government care with permanent families. Tonight, we're here to recognize, celebrate, and get inspired by our kids, all who face tough challenges and discrimination, some simply because of the color of their skin or their sexual orientation. Yet these resilient young people have persevered time and time again. Tonight, we advocate for them, for their success and chance at a real future, all based on the power of family. Usually, our foster youth and prospective families meet at in-person Kids Save events, doing fun activities like bowling, go-karting, or cake making. In person, face to face. You know, we remember, right? Then stay at home orders came down and we moved our entire family visit model virtual. And now every weekend, our kids and potential families get to meet up on Zoom, doing virtual scavenger hunts, trivia, and more. We're continuing to engage our kids and giving them that all important voice and choice in who they want to get to know better and who might become their permanent family. And it's working. In recent weeks, we've celebrated hosting, foster, and adoptive matches, and recently cried tears of joy as we witnessed a virtual adoption of a 17-year-old. And in the midst of this pandemic last month, our newest program, Kids Save Texas, hosted its very first virtual event for Texas teens. And once travel advisories lift, we plan to bring a group of 50 Colombian kids for a winter visit, children who eagerly await their chance for family. We're proud that we've made major strides and stayed true to our mission to create change in child welfare systems and to connect older kids to families, no matter the odds. And tonight, with your support and generosity, we can continue to do that. So thank you for being here. And most of all, thank you for believing as we do in the power of family. Now it's my great honor to introduce to you our host for the evening, Sean Patrick. Thank you, Randy, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Kids Save Gala. I'm your host, Sean Patrick, and I'm honored to be here at my home. Now, just as Randy mentioned, this year's gala is a little bit different. On the upside, you didn't have to fight through any traffic to get here. You didn't have to find any parking. And you know, it's not often you get to go to a gala where you can show up in your pajamas if you so desire, or as I like to call it, a quarantine tux. But if you did get dressed up, we thank you for that. And whether you're in a suit, maybe a fetching cocktail gown, or your trusty PJs, I do hope that they all have deep pockets. Because tonight, we're here to help raise some much needed funds for the amazing work that Kids Safe does to advocate, support, and bring about real change in the lives of older youth in foster care and kids in orphanages all around the world. So if you haven't already, grab your cell phone and text Kids Save 2020 to phone number 243725. That's Kids Save 2020, all one word, to 243725. There should be a little graphic with all the details right here or here, or somewhere. Honestly, I wasn't in that meeting, but it will have everything that you need. Simply click that link to register and you'll be all set to take part in tonight's auction or donate. Now, speaking of auctions, have you checked out everything you can bid on yet? There's some amazing experiences and items like, get set for a good day as you and a guest get to ride in the good year blimp. Or how about this, a week at a Lake Michigan beach house. This spectacular five-bedroom, three-bathroom cottage overlooks the picturesque Lake Michigan near South Haven. It sounds like the perfect post-quarantine escape. Or if lockdown continues, then maybe the instant wine cellar package is a smart investment. It's a wine lover's dream collection. Now these are just a few of the amazing items that you can bid on, so be sure to check them all out. But bidding isn't the only way that you can support KidSafe tonight. 
You can also donate directly via your phone. Just follow that link and click donate at the top of the page. So let's see if that donate button is working. Let's just donate a little something at the top. Maybe donate $5, 500. Uh, honestly, we'll take even 5,000 this early in the show. No matter what you can give, know that your support will help KidSafe continue to help older foster youth find their forever family. In fact, why don't we meet some of those kids and families whose lives have been forever changed by the incredible work that KidSafe does. Joining us now from across the country are families who have been formed by KidSafe. So who do we have out there now? Hi, this is the Caltablada family coming from Long Island, New York. Hi, Hi we're the Hoyt family from Ventura County, California. Hi, we're, we're the Dyson family, family from Fairfax, Virginia, Virginia and we're here, here watching the gala. gala. Hi, my name is Jose Polo. And I'm Stephanie Epstein. And we are very excited to be watching the Kids Save Gala with you from Los Angeles, California. Hi, we're, we're the Pendle, Pendle family from China Grove, North Carolina, and, and we're, we're so happy to be watching with you. Hi, we're the Boss and I'm Bob. I'm Leanne. Hi, I'm Roman. I'm Katie. And we are so excited to be watching the Kids Save Virtual Miracles Gala. From Cleveland, Ohio! Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Garner and I'm proud to be here for Kid Saves Miracles Gala. What family means to me is being known, accepted, and cherished no matter what. Family is the sun on your face, the wind at your back, and the ground on which you stand. I can't think of anything more important than family, especially when this upside down world has robbed us of so many other comforts. You don't have to work hard to imagine the difference between living as a foster child on shifting sands and at the whim of an overrun system and being a child who has found their forever family. Kids Save makes families and their work is more important than ever. Have a great night and know that when you support Kids Save, you are changing the lives of older foster youths forever, giving them the stability, acceptance, and love of family. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, my name is George Hicker, and my wife and I, Kathy, have been involved with Kids Save for 16 or 17 years now. We went through a number of channels in regard to the potentiality of adoption before we met Randy Thompson. Kids Aid had a program called Summer Miracles. So Koya and Kostya came over here uh, when they were 12 and 14 and spent six weeks with us. We couldn't speak Russian. They basically couldn't speak a w word of, of English. So we were constantly were referring to our books to get to, to know each other. People go, well, boy, were they lucky to have parents like you or to come to this country? Well, there's no question in re retrospect that we're just as fortunate to have them as sons, uh, if not more, than vice versa. Coach has completed his education at Syracuse University. He's, he's now working in our business, the real estate business. His brother's still a student at Westmont College, involved in eSports. You just can't imagine how much you, you get out of it. It's, it's almost biblical. The Bible tells you the more you put into somebody else's situation, the more you're going to get rewarded. You don't go into it just to reward yourself. With that in mind, our family will donate up to $62,500 tonight uh, for whoever can match it to that amount of money. And hopefully an example of this story would stir your hearts to do that. Having known Randy Thompson and uh, Lauren and uh, formerly Terry, I mean, they give their hearts and soul to it. If uh, they were on a sports team, you'd want to give them the ball at the end. Uh, so it's certainly a worthwhile cause, 100% uh, behind it. I hope it touches your heart. I hope everybody has a great night tonight and enjoy yourselves. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Wow, how incredible is that? So for every dollar you donate tonight, the Hicker family will match your donation. Donate $100, they'll donate $100. Donate $10,000, they'll donate $10,000, matching up to $62,500. That's a great way to get KidSave $125,000 as long as you donate. 
So on behalf of all the Kids Save Kids, thank you, Hicker family, for your generous donation. So come on, everybody, let's make it happen. I'm Salvadorian. My biological dad died when I was small. And my mom, my biological mom, I don't talk to. I just want to get adopted and um, find a happy family. So Kids Save is a program that you get adopted. So we just go to these events and like you do fun things with them. My name is Kelly. I'm Delaney. We live in Playa del Rey, California. You got it? Yeah. Uh, the first time I remember them, I was just telling them about themselves, how they had dogs. Just their vibes was feel nice, like around them. Good job, Julie. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because they seem really happy. I think when you've always wanted to be a parent, and then you get to be a parent, it's pretty awesome. Good for you. But we learned that it's kind of hard. The first couple of weeks, we were all just trying to stay, you know, be so perfect, and everything had to be this or picturesque. So finally, just being who we are and um, and just opening up a little more. We talked about it before, and they would be interested in adopting me. Mr. Uh, Miller and Miss Slattery and Julie and a number of their supporters, family and friends are appearing via WebEx and or by telephone. You know, every day that I get to do an adoption is a blessing, right? Because I know this has uh, been a long time coming and that the system is oftentimes imperfect, but sometimes it works. And so I just want to say thank you to all of you. This petition is hereby granted and the child is adopted by the petitioners, <laughs> Mr. Miller and Ms. Latter. When Randy and I started Kids Save, I couldn't imagine the impact that we would have on individual children. I've watched kids walk off airplanes, malnourished and hopeless, and 10 years later, walk across the stage to accept a diploma and down the aisle to create their own families. My heart bursts with pride every time. Kids Save Kids, you've overcome so much, so much hurt, negligence, to chase your dreams. Everyone at Kids Save is so very proud of you. Your resilience is astonishing. The burning desire that many of you have to help others is so inspiring. All you needed was a chance for someone to see you, and then you created your own path. Kids Save was so happy to give you that first chance. As you listen to the stories that are coming up, of children and their dreams. I hope you will commit with me to help these children find families. And I hope you'll consider giving to Kids Save whatever amount you can. Please help us continue this life-changing work. Thank you. Thanks, Terry. Now, as you've seen, folks, Kids Save's work really is life-changing, and you have the power to help change a life right now by donating tonight. Or you can make a bid on one of the many incredible auction items that we're offering tonight. Like the amazing chance to ride in the Goodyear blimp. The Goodyear blimp. I mean, come on. I don't know anybody who's done that. I've never done it. You can brag about it every time that you see it. Yeah, I've ridden in that blimp. You might even get great nicknames like Goodyear Gloria or Billy Blimpo. I'm terrible at making up nicknames, but if you go in it, you can just make it up for yourselves. All I'm saying is, bid on that and you can brag forever. <laughs> now up next, I'm honored to have Grammy Award winning classical guitarist Andrew York performing here for us tonight. Andrew is an award winning performer, composer, and recording artist with a rich style all his own. Andrew's performed in over 30 countries and recorded with major ensembles, and tonight he's showing his support for Kids Save by sharing his wonderful music with us. Hi everybody, I'm Andrew York, and it's a pleasure to be here tonight to perform for you all. 
As you listen, I'd like you to focus on the world of potential held within each child and how, through your support, that potential can be unlocked and lives can be changed forever. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my composition, Dancing with Maya, and please donate to KidSave. everyone. I'm Beth Dressing. And I'm Joni Knoll. We co-chair Kids Save's Board of Trustees. The plight of kids growing up without the support of family is a global issue with over 8 million children around the world in institutional care. Thankfully, Kids Save's innovative family visit model and programs offer a global solution. Over the last 21 years, Kids Save has worked on four continents, proven the value and adaptability of its family visit model to get countless kids out of institutional care and help find them loving, supportive families. In addition to helping kids here in the United States, we have worked to place children from orphanages in Russia, Taiwan, and Colombia in loving, caring homes. We have a pilot program underway in the Ukraine and also support mentoring for kids growing up without families. Hello, I'm Alexandra Kucherenko. I'm Ukrainian journalist and proud ambassador of Mentoring Association, an organization co-founded by KidSafe. In 2016, when I was Miss Ukraine, I started my charity project for helping children in orphanages. Since then, I got to know about mentoring programs and for sure started to support them. Ukraine has more than 100,000 children in orphanages, and we want to change this. We have different mentoring programs that are really helping children and poor families. We just held our first mentoring marathon, where more than 500 children logged on to hear from sportsmen, businessmen, bloggers, actors, singers, and others. They shared their experience and knowledge, answered questions about finding a job, choosing a profession, achieving goals, and living independently. The mentoring programs are growing here in Ukraine. Please join us and support them. Thank you, Kitsay, for being the inspiration and for helping us to get started. Good evening. I'm Ren Chase, and I advocate for youth in foster care. Several years ago, I was advocating for Celia, a 12-year-old, intelligent, amazing child who'd been shuffled from one foster home to the next for most of her life. I was repeatedly told by her social worker that she was not adoptable because of her age. Then I found Kids Save. When Sally and I walked into our first Kids Save event and met dozens of adults who wanted to adopt older children, I wanted to yell out, here you are. Here were the loving people I just knew had to be out there. Celia eventually met Trish and Andy, a couple she wanted to get to know better, and over months she attended Kids Save events with them, and they had the opportunity to build a relationship to the point that Celia wanted to move into their home and become a family. Two years later, I attended the most joyous adoption ceremony for this fierce young woman and her incredible parents. This fall, Celia will start her senior year of high school with a family she loves, and she is loved. If you want to help thousands of youth find a loving forever family, please support KidSave. I don't think he knew about me until I was seven, and when he found out about me, 
he was sober and then he got custody of me. After work, he would pick me up from school and we would go to Taco Bell. And in the mornings, we would go to 7-Eleven and get donuts and coffee. Something happened and he started drinking again and then he passed away. When I was in the foster care system, I moved around a lot. I think I was in 11 foster homes. I was very careful because I was afraid of being removed. KidSave is a program that helps uh, foster youth find forever families or even just a mentor that they can rely on to get them through the foster care system. Through KidSave, I met my mom and dad, Andy and Trish. Our first couple events, she was really funny and she was outgoing and she was the one that wanted me to talk about like feelings or how was my day and I wasn't like that so it was kind of hard for me to do but over time at least now it's better so I'm able to open up to her more. Andy was someone that I looked up to and that like I wanted to get closer to but for me at the time it was hard because it felt like I was replacing my dad and it took me a while to realize that I wasn't, I was just honoring him by having someone that I can talk to. It was like gaining a new dad. For so long I've wished for a family and a permanent home and now that I have it, I wish that same feelings for other people. Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Richards, and to me, family means love, someone to count on, and a place to call home. That's why Kids Save Mission to help older foster youth find their forever home means so much to me. So please, let's all dig deep and give whatever we can to help Kids Save continue to do their amazing work and help change the lives of these deserving kids. Thank you so much for your support. Hey everybody, Billy Harris, great to be back for the 2020 Kids Save Auction. I'd like to throw in my now infamous in-home chef's dinner, four or five top chefs, that's for sure. James Beard winners, Michelin star winners, Bon Appetit, best new chefs. They're all going to come to your house. We're going to have four or five courses. You can have 12 guests, 14 guests, 16 guests, depending on how much money you spend. And uh, look forward to seeing you in your living room with all your friends and all these amazing chefs. And we will see you sometime next year. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Carrie Burke, and I was one of the lucky ones. I was adopted at a very young age and spent my childhood in a loving and accepting home. I was never made to feel stigmatized or that being adopted made me lesser than anyone else. In fact, thanks to the unconditional love of my mother, I thought I was awesome. I knew that I had been given an extraordinary gift, the gift of adoption. Every child deserves the gift of a loving home. And I hope I live to see the day where this is not a privilege, but a right. To this end, the work being done by KidSave, especially on behalf of older children, is nothing short of humbling and awe-inspiring. By giving kids a voice and a choice, they are empowering them to make life-changing decisions and to form lasting relationships organically and confidently. Their amazing work continues to change the course of lives every day as mine was. Hey, what's going on? I'm Diego Tinoco. And I'm Sierra Capri from the hit Netflix show On My Block. In the show, we play Caesar and Monse, two teenage kids in love who are just trying to navigate the ups and downs of growing up in South Central Los Angeles. With the help of their friends and each other. We recently got to talk to one of the Kids Save Kids, 15-year-old Leslie, who talked to us about her dreams. Take a look. We heard that you liked the show on my block. First and foremost, thank you so much for being a fan. How are teens in foster care the same and how are they different from the characters on the show? We go through a lot of the similar stuff that in the show they go through, like, um, like when it comes to like growth and like friendships and stuff like that. Biggest biggest difference that like mm -hmm. we don't really have families or the support as other kids. What do you wish people understood about kids in the foster care system? 
A lot of times people tend to think that teenagers don't really want a family or that it's harder to deal with them so they won't like go after them especially when it comes to adoption. Mostly all we want is just somebody to take care of us or like love us. Yeah we all do. Everybody needs love and family and support. What are some changes in the future that you would like to see? Well with the knee I'd like to see myself graduating from college um, mm -hmm. to make my future family proud as well as um just having a successful career mm -hmm. and I feel like people need to learn to be more compassionate because there's not enough of that in this world and to be more understanding of others and their perspectives because we could really make a change in this world. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Love Hewitt. Um, the past few months have brought the importance of family into sharp focus for all of us. Family gives us support and helps us through challenging times. It also inspires us to do our best. Well, tonight, through your support of Kids Save, you can help give the gift of a family to an older youth in foster care, which is a really extraordinary thing. So please give what you can. Sending you all my love. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kevin Elms. And I'm Mitchell Rosbarski. And together, we're tonight's comedy duo. Kevin, no, we're not. We're co-chairs for tonight's gala. And it's our honor to introduce tonight's recipient of the Andrew Lay Memorial Volunteer Award. This special award is named after one of Kid Save's very special volunteers. For nine years, Andrew Lay was a staunch supporter and great volunteer at Kid Save. You'd often find Andrew scurrying around at events, engaging in all the activities, directing people, making sure everyone felt welcome, and the events were a success. Volunteers are the lifeblood of Kids Save. They organize and run communities, drive kids to and from activities, find sponsors, and so much more. Andrew was a shining example of the passion that volunteers bring to Kids Save events. Sadly, Andrew passed away in January 2019. And to honor the example he set, Kid Save established this award in his memory. Tonight, we honor another great volunteer, Mark Green, a man who, in addition to being a busy Globetrotter financial executive, still found time to create the annual Hike With Your Heart event. This event helped raise more than $200,000 for foster youth over the last five years. It is our great pleasure to present the Andrew Lay Memorial Volunteer Award to our dear friend, Global VP of Carl Storrs and founder of Hike With Your Heart, Mark Green. Good evening. I'm honored to be here tonight and to receive the Andrew Lay Award. I truly share this honor with my wife, Alessandra, and the entire Kids Save Hike team. I got connected to Kids Save back in 2009 through my friend, Francis Moreno. Initially, I supported Kids Save through the galas, and at the 2015 gala, I heard from one of the children. She shared her story. Imagine being a 14-year-old foster child with no one who loves you. No one to hug you in the morning, no one to help you with your homework, no one who sees your greatness, no one to inspire you to pursue your dreams, no one to cry with over your failures, no one to share your successes with. No one. Well, that hit me like a ton of bricks. And in that moment, I knew I wanted to do something more. Coincidentally, during that time, I was also in a personal development program. Michelle, our program leader, asked us to do a brainstorming session, 10 ideas in 10 minutes. I got to seven. And when I looked down at the paper, three of the ideas popped out at me and came together. Use a hike event to bring the joy of hiking to the community and the Kids Save Kids to connect the community with Kids Save and to raise money for Kids Save. I started to get excited. I went to my car that night, turned on the radio, heard a Kids Save commercial on NPR. First time I've heard it, that was my first sign. I was really getting excited. When I got home, shared with Alessandra, the excitement grew. The next morning, as I was thinking about needing marketing help to do this, I ran into Susan. Susan is the head of our commercial communications group. She agreed to help, sign number two. Then I shared with Sharissa, Glenda, Vicky, Diane. They all jumped on board 
and agreed to help. As the hike grew, we needed more volunteers, and we, and we got lots of them, including Stuart, Lori, Delia, Sela, Tina, Lydia, Rajesh, Oscar, Simonette, Darius, Tony, Brian, Michelle, Hannah, Paz, my daughter Nicole, and my father. Without their support and the support of Carl Stortz and the Kids Safe team, the hikes would not have been possible. I would also like to thank Kevin and Mitchell for stepping up and co-chairing tonight's gala. So, if you're wondering what your role is, if you're waiting for your sign, this is it. I ask you to open your hearts as you listen to the stories tonight and imagine seeing the world through the eyes of a foster child. My ask of you tonight is to give generously from your heart. And if you're moved as I was, please volunteer and create your own personal contribution to Kids Safe Success. Thank you. Hi, I'm Peter Valley, and I'm a photographer. Over the past 10 years, I've had the good fortune of covering Kids Safe. I've met so many great kids over the years and made it a personal goal of capturing each one's personality. I have also had the honor and pleasure of watching kids grow and make connections that develop into loving families. I am, however, struck by how many more kids there are wishing to find families. With your help, Kids Save can broaden the possibilities. Hi, everyone. I'm Bobby Cagle, Director of the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services. Tonight, you've heard a lot about what it's like to be a child in foster care. And in LA County, we are responsible for the safety and well being of more than 35,000 children, with close to 18,000 of them being in out of home care. Placing older foster youth in safe, loving, permanent families is difficult, but partnering with Kids Save has made a difference in our success. Since we began our partnership way back in 2005, I'm proud to say that more than 80% of the youth who've taken part in Kids Save's Weekend Miracles program have made lasting connections, and more than half have a permanent family through either adoption or legal guardianship. Kids have found the forever families that they so richly deserve. I'm Angelicia. <laughs> Some people call me Angel. I'm 16. When I was first in foster care, I was nine. I live in a group home. Probably you have like four girls in a house and then you have like a staff or two. I don't feel comfortable when people take care of me. I feel like I should be able to take care of myself. One of my daughters actually adopted two kids out of uh, foster youth. They've been such a great blessing for our family. And so that really woke me up to the need and, and how great these kids are and they just need support. I can say is that was a little surprising because sometimes kids, when I because I wear this hijab, sometimes they're kind of weird. And I never got that from her. I never I mean, got that from you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't think it's a problem. You, well, you wear stuff it, on your head all the time too, so <laughs> we kind of match that way too. So. She's a very sweet lady, and she just she tries to bring me into her family, just like you know, help me. Family means to be there for somebody. They want the best for you. And it doesn't always have to be, oh, I'm blood related. With the family, it's like the wild, wild west here. <laughs> I'm still connected with my host, Cynthia. I'm with her daughter and her family. Everything is so much better and so much more than I can hope for. What I love about Kids Safe is that it's a very diverse family. It's a big village trying to come together and make smaller families. Everyone's unique. Everyone is on a different path, but everyone comes together in the end. You know, no matter what the donation, big or small, Every dollar helps Kids Save continue to support older youth in foster care and kids in orphanages in countries like Colombia, Sierra Leone, and Russia. So if you haven't already, please donate what you can. Now it's my pleasure to introduce David Ambrose. He's the founder of Foster More, which is a collective working to create greater understanding, empathy, and action to improve the future of kids in foster care. David? My story started on the streets of New York City with my brother, my sister, 
and my mentally ill mother, we spent more than a decade homeless and wandering, uh, hunger, uh, abuse, and just more than a decade of fear were really what defined my early childhood. When we entered foster care, I thought we were saved, but it turned out that we went from the, the kettle into the fire, as they say. Moving between homes, sometimes just with a few minutes notice in a trash bag, my family and, and my siblings had a typical experience of foster youth. Too typical. Uh, typical that needs to change. Too many of us become statistics. Over 23,000 of us exit the system every year. And what KidSave provides is a ladder for mentorship, connection, and permanency. We need caring, loving adults so that brothers and sisters of mine in foster care, all of us, all 400,000 of us, have a chance to achieve our full potential. Every day, KidSave is creating families and their focus and their ability to help older foster youth is so vital. All children deserve the chance to reach their full potential and KidSave is providing that opportunity to the children, but also the beautiful families that welcome a foster children into their lives. I hope you learn more and support the vital work of KidSave. Thank you. Written in these walls are the stories that I can explain. Running gets you to the point where you want to quit. So you gotta push yourself to become better. You gotta be committed. I was in foster care my whole life. I wanted someone to be there for me. When I met Jesus, he was 15. And that's really a tough age for a youth in the foster care system. Grant was outgoing and I liked that. I knew if things work out, he'll be my family. Once he was placed with me and we became a family, that's when he really started to thrive. That's when he really started to find himself and develop who he's going to be as an adult. He joined the football team and the track coach saw him. Yeah, and he saw me beat one of their fast track kids. So he went on the track team and surprised everybody, really. Jesus is fast. Older foster kids, what they really need is a family so they can feel special too. Hi everyone. I'm Rebecca Gayhart. As you've seen tonight, Kids Safe does an amazing job at helping older foster youth find their forever families. Kids who show so much promise, so much resilience, and are just asking for someone to support them, believe in them, and love them. You can make that happen. With your support, Kids Safe can continue to connect these kids with adult mentors and help them find their forever families. So tonight I am asking you to dig deep and make sure that these kids know that they are not forgotten. Thank you so much. Hey there, I'm Marla Sokoloff. Did you know that in the United States alone, over 400,000 foster children just waiting for an amazing home. They would love parents or a parent or anybody to just love them and give them the gift of a wonderful, welcoming home. My family is everything to me. I couldn't do anything without them, and I was also blessed to have a wonderful family growing up. So, I think the right thing to do here would be to just like dig deep in your pockets, and give some money to KidSafe. You could Venmo, you could send a check, I think. I mean, I don't really know, I'm not in charge of these things, but I think that that is the perfect idea for this evening. I cannot wait to hear and see the life that you're about to change. It's just such an incredible thing. Have a great one. Hi everyone, I'm Francie Egan. Way back in 2011, my life changed forever when I came and spent a winter in the United States. As a kid from Colombia, the experience was both scary and exciting. Through KidSafe, I met my parents. Being adopted changed my life. With my family's support, I graduated high school with honors, and I am now studying marketing at Rutgers Newark. I couldn't have done this without the support of KidSafe and the love and encouragement of my family people who saw the potential in me and helped me realize it. Now, it's my honor to introduce you to Dr. Audra Langley. Thank you. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about how much we have to learn from children in foster care. They are already experts in dealing with uncertainty and loss, not being able to see people they care about, not being able to celebrate things and the way in which they may have planned. As one former foster youth shared with COVID, the whole world is getting a taste of what it's like to be in foster care, having no control and not knowing what things will look like next week, 
in three months, or even next year. As we all struggle, these amazingly resilient young people have a lot to teach us. Experts now talk about the importance of a trauma lens. That is shifting our thinking from what's wrong with this child to what has this child been through? Thinking beyond the traumatic events of abuse or neglect that a child has experienced to the full context of what it's like to be in foster care. With each move, these kids experience so much grief and loss, not only of attachment figures, but also teachers, friends, coaches, loss of neighborhood, loss of language, community, all things that are familiar to them. We also need to recognize the impact of discrimination and microaggressions that these children often faced based on their race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or gender identity. Black, Native, and LGBTQ plus children are all disproportionately represented in the child welfare system, and most children in care are children of color. Our kids won't say, I'm really hurting today, so I'm acting out. They can't express that pain. So often we only see the behaviors and speak of deficits, damage, or difficult children. In reality, these behaviors are not deficits at all. They're actually exquisite adaptations that our children have developed in order to survive in extremely chaotic and unpredictable situations. For example, a child hoarding food under her bed can be seen as difficult. There's something wrong with her. But this behavior actually represents an adaptive strength, a response to not having had her basic needs met. So she sees the world through her survival brain. When we understand our kids' behaviors in this context and shift the lens through which we view them, then we can help our children recognize their own resilience and self-worth. Finding stable, nurturing families through programs like KidSafe can shift a child out of their survival brain to feel safe enough to learn new coping strategies and change how they view themselves and how they view the world. Kids Save programs recognize and promote the resilience of our kids and help connect them with people they can learn to trust, who can help them find their strengths, celebrate every win, and play a critical role in helping them thrive and truly flourish. Thank you, Kids Save. As someone who experienced the foster care system firsthand as a teenager, I understand how devastating it can be when there's no one in your corner. That's why I'm proud to bring Kids Save's Family Visit model, a model that works, to Texas, where we have the second greatest number of children in foster care in the nation. Last month, we launched with a virtual scavenger hunt and tour of Paramount Studios as our first event to find families for older foster youth in the Houston area. Foster kids in Texas deserve a chance to find a forever family before they age out. Kids Save Texas is making that happen. My entire life, I've always wanted to be a mother. Kids Save provided an opportunity for me at my age to become a mother and also to get to know a child before we actually adopted him or her. All the kids were really incredible and Angie fit into our home so wonderfully. We fell in love with her with, uh, you know, very, very quickly and now can't imagine our life without her. Since adopting Angie, We've grown our family once more through the Summer Miracles program with the adoption of our beautiful, brave son, Juan. I think one of the really wonderful things that I'm finding really about KidSave is that they've been so open and loving about the fact that we're a gay couple and want to involve our community in adopting children. Thank you, KidSave, for inspiring and supporting us and making us family. Hi. I am Andrea Leon, Deputy Director of Adoptions at ICBF. We are proud to say that for the last 70 years, we have been partnering with Kids Safe. Their programs are being already incorporated in our guidelines, the family visit model and the right to the family for older children. Our kids have been able to see new places, but especially they have found a family forever. We wanted to wish you so many years to come of success and being our allies for many years to come. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Estefi and I wanted to quickly share my story on how Kids Save has changed my life. So when I was seven years old, I realized that no one in my family wanted me. My father was never in the picture, my mother was never focused on me, and my grandparents who raised my brother uh, always casted me aside as a burden. I eventually ended up at my godmother's house who was abusive and would hit me for the smallest thing. 
She eventually turned me into social services. When I was 11, I was told that if I didn't find a family by the age of 12, it would be almost impossible to be adopted. That same year, I found out that I was going on a month-long trip to meet a family through KidSafe. When I met the Holman family for the first time, I felt so excited but nervous at the same time. However, as I got to know them, I instantly knew they were the perfect fit for me. And I just felt like I had finally found the home I'd been looking for my entire life. A year after the trip, I got adopted and I was eager to start my new life. However, I really didn't know all the challenges that were coming my way, learning a new language, adapting to a new culture and making new friends. However, all of that taught me positivity, perseverance and patience. And I feel as though I can now overcome anything that comes my way. I'm proud to say that I just graduated high school and I'll be attending the University of Arizona this fall. I know I wouldn't have been able to accomplish this without the love and support of my family who make me feel wanted every single day. I grew up in an orphanage in Tomsk following the collapse of communist Russia. Uh, there I experienced and saw things that no child should ever be exposed to. And even today, it can be difficult for me to talk about. In 2011, I traveled across the world with the Kids Safe Miracle Program, uh, where I met two amazing, loving people, Christine and Sean, who would change my life forever. I spent the summer as part of their family. And then a few months after my return to Tomsk, I was adopted by them. By opening my heart to them, I began to heal and found encouragement, love and support, and they helped me find my voice. I began drawing and painting, putting my feelings of my childhood into my art because uh, they created a safe space for me to do so. And the future I knew would be different. My family always supported me, what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. That encouragement and support is huge. and. It made me feel confident like I can do anything and everything that I have wanted to do, I've done thus far and I think that comes from my parents. So tonight, when you give to kids safe, you're giving to kids like me hope and future that can involve family and a world of possibility. So thank you. It hurts to know that older kids in foster care feel that their chances of finding a family may have passed them by. Many of these kids feel forgotten, small, powerless, hopeless. But Kids Save is here to show them a different reality where they can harness the power of their own unique voices and transform their lives. At Kids Save, older kids get to choose who they get to know more and who could become their permanent families. They become advocates for what they want and hope for. I am Noelle Skaggs, and I'm asking you to join me in supporting Kids Save to show more kids the power that they hold within to change their futures, their communities, and the whole world. Every bit counts in this fight. Hey everyone, I'm Molly Sims. What family means to me? My family means absolutely everything. I would be nowhere without them. I eat, breathe, live them. And that is exactly why the work Kids Save does is so important. Let's all donate what we can to help Kids Save continue to find forever families for older youth in foster care. As you're seeing, the work Kids Save does is vital in changing the futures of kids without families, both here and abroad. And you can help by keeping those donations coming in. And don't forget, you can bid on some amazing experiences and packages just like these. One of the items I've had my eye on is this four day, three night stay for four at a private estate in beautiful Napa Valley. Or treat the family to an outdoor dining and movie night under the stars, which is a perfect pandemic antidote. And those bids are coming in for that amazing in-home chef's dinner with Billy Harris and a collection of top award-winning chefs. Or take a power lunch with one of Hollywood's leading executives, the president of ABC Entertainment, Carrie Burke. Gleam insight into how the industry works and what it takes to make it to the top in this town. These are just some of the items and experiences that you can bid on right now to help raise funds for Kids Save. 
So keep bidding and keep supporting Kids Save and the amazing work that they do, like this. Hi, I'm Sebastian Barkey. The viral video of my adoption story has touched the hearts of millions of people around the world. Queremos ser tu hermano. ¿Quieres ser parte de nuestra familia? Sí. We're proud that our family story has inspired others to think about the powerful change they can bring to another's life through hosting or adopting an older child. Our whole family has been blessed by opening our hearts and our homes to Sebastian, and now we couldn't imagine our life without him. Don't forget to donate lots of money tonight. Thank, thank you. 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 Last summer, we hosted a lovely, kind, and funny girl named Lily. She stayed with her family for five weeks. Our one and only goal was to help her find a family to love and nurture her, and I'm so proud to say that we did. We wanted to change her life, but she ended up changing ours completely. So we know firsthand that the Kids Save model works. Hosting to advocate is a life-changing way to help a child. It's also fully transformative for the hosting family. So today we are proudly supporting Kids Save, and we ask for you to do the same. Thank you so much. Hi, we're Rodney and Marie Green. When we first saw a video of Capria on TV in 2007, we couldn't predict how much our lives were gonna change. We remember thinking, man, she belonged in our family, but we had no idea the journey that lied ahead. We joined Kids Safe Weekend Miracle Program, and after spending seven months getting to know each other, we made the life-changing decision. And on November 12, 2009, Capria moved in with us. And on March 11, 2011, she officially became our daughter when her adoption was finalized. She was 17. And the rest is history. You know, in the past 11 years, we celebrated every major birthday, every milestone, every victory, big and small. But now we get a chance to celebrate Enzo, our grandson, who is six years old. We're proof that kids say is making generational change, changing the lives of so many kids and families like ours. And we couldn't be more proud. Hi everyone, I'm Roger Hoyt. In 2019, I traveled from Colombia to US and I had a great experience. I so happy that I have a family that support, guide and teach me and sisters that love me. Please support Kids Safe tonight and help give kids an unforgettable experience and for the family too. Hi everybody. You've heard a lot tonight about how Kids Safe has changed a lot of kids' lives for the better. Well, it's changed our lives too. As soon as we met Anthony at a Kids Safe event, we knew there was something special about him. We just clicked. And after a year of getting to know each other, he moved in with us. You know, Anthony has made an amazing transformation in the past year. He is really opened up. He's blossomed. He's created a beautiful community for himself here in our neighborhood. And at his high school, where he is a superstar on his basketball team, he just received the best grades in his life. We were so proud of him. And with a lot of advocacy and support, we aim to finalize his adoption before he's 18. And we wouldn't have met our amazing son if it weren't for Kids Save. So thank you, Kids Save. We love you, Anthony. 
If there's one thing our Kids Save Kids aren't short on, it's ambition. In fact, 70% of kids in foster care dream of going to college. But currently, many fall short of this dream. Only 10% will make it to college. And of that small group, only 3% will complete their degree and graduate. Why? It's not lack of ambition, but lack of support. The lack of having someone to believe in them, to support them and encourage them. Someone who simply says, you've got this and we've got you. We have seen firsthand how with the support of a family in their corner, our kids are unstoppable. Tonight, we celebrate all of our Kids Save Kids who are beating these odds and have graduated or reach academic milestones in this past year. Joshua, I'm 10 years old and I live in Los Angeles. If you were famous, what would you be famous for? A baseball player. Is that what you want to be when you grow up? Yeah, on the Dodgers. You know there's no crying in baseball when I beat you, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, okay. but that's not gonna happen. Right now we're probably in that honeymoon stage, but I know he's also going to test me. He's going to see if I'm going to stay because, you know, people haven't stayed in his life. Hey, hey there! Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Well, I heard the news. I know. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. What is happening today, Joshua? Everything. Really My whole away. life is happening today. Oh, what does yeah. that mean? Everything. I'm going to get a mom. What do you love about Susan? Everything. I love her. Since the day I picked my parents, me and Susan have progressed a lot. I've gone through my hard times, my good times, but we've done it together. Being in foster care, it was pretty tough because I really didn't have anybody to back me up. I would like to see many changes in the world, of them being more organizations like Kids Save come and help a lot more kids in the foster care system. This is not fun being in foster care. He's my forever son, so he is forever going to be living with me. I'm it. Hi, Kids Save community. Since ever we were little, people always told us that we look the same. In Colombia, the only thing that I have next to me was Jared and I have Kevin. We have a bond together strongly. And now we have to check that bond with other people that they care of us and they love us. We are thankful to Kids Save to help us to find a family. I want to just send this important message to other families that they can't take the chances to adopt the kids because it's are not kids that are waiting for a family. And it's a big opportunity. And this is how the Dunkers end. Wow, what an incredible evening. We are absolutely overwhelmed by your generosity. 
I want to thank again our sponsors for your support and especially the Hicker family for your amazing matching gift. And the KidSafe staff and our superb volunteers, how do I even thank you enough? You guys truly make the miracles happen. To you at home, thank you for watching and listening to the stories of our kids and families. We hope you take each story with you and that it inspires you to think about getting involved and being part of the power of family, the power to transform a child's life. Thank you so much and have a great night. Thank you, Randy. Well, folks, that's it. Thanks so much for spending the evening with us and for your generous support. If you haven't already, it's not too late to donate and there's still time to place your bid on any of those amazing auction items. So keep an eye out and make sure that you're not outbid. I'm Sean Patrick, and it's been an absolute pleasure to share the evening with you. Keep watching. You know, we've got a very special treat for you with a little touch of magic from Sean the Prankster. So don't go anywhere. But from me and the 2020 Kids Save Gala team, thank you for watching. Be safe, be well, and good night. Where are my PJs? Are they here? Thank you. Let me do that off camera. Hi folks, Sean the Prankster Magician here with a very special message for you. First I want you to see that each and every one of these cards is different. It's a well mixed deck. And what I'm going to try to do here now is I'm going to try to unshuffle this deck so you can read the code that is on the side of this deck. Here we go. This is a unshuffle, so I'm going to unshuffle them into clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Here we go. All right, so that's one. And that message becomes just a little bit clearer. And this will be two unshuffles right here. Let's see. Here we go. That's two. Okay, perfect. And one more. And you can see, by the way, that message becomes just a little bit clearer. And one more unshuffle, and that message should be perfectly clear. And there we are. And that message is perfectly clear. Can you read it? And uh, I want you to see that all the cards now are unshuffled. Each and every card is in order now by clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. See that? And more importantly, right now we have one more message for you folks. And that message is right here on the side of this deck. And it is, thank you so much for supporting Kids Save. 